You know what? We, we wasted a little bit of time here, but that's okay. I mean, we go... How far back was our save? It's from February. Okay, well, let's let's just load our old save. And we'll... we'll I want to be independent Belgium. But this time, we'll basically not do anything. We won't resist... We won't suppress anybody. We'll just let them do their own thing. So I guess that whole chunk will be, the, like, episode one of the YouTube series. So that's okay. Yeah, wait for them to calm down. I think this is the one decision I made the mistake on. The riots continue. Okay. So th this, this is this is where we actually want to be. Trapped in the palace but safe from riders outside, the king decided not to resort to use heavy weaponry and instead has sought to deal with the protesters solely by using poli local police battalions. Or the riot has proven not to be so easily suppressed and has started to spread throughout the entire city. Student organizations in the city of Louvain, Ghent, and even Brussels itself have been preparing for their own protest march and quickly organize themselves, chanting the Bosgron and the Village Luvia, being banners and protests throughout the streets. Yeah, so I think this is what we wanted to begin with. Um, so I apologize for like the past half an hour, which is kind of maybe considered a waste of time. I thought we'd make things worse. Like, okay, well, Loons and Cheryl and Mons rise up. Because, like, the weird thing is, is, like, for some countries, in order to have, like, the independence or, like, the revolt break out, you gotta suppress it very harshly, and then there's major backlash to it. But sometimes, in some countries, you gotta do nothing about it, and then, then they break out into, like, revolution. So it, it's, each country, like, does its own thing, it's kind of strange. Okay, anyways, massive strike and protests are also playing in Wallonia, where large industrial cities of Charentoy and Mons have started to organize themselves into a full-scale rebellion. Supported by the cynical resistance and raids on police helicopter headquarters in Mons, the revolts have reorganized themselves outside the city, biding their time. Will you put more guns into here? Did I not even build... Yeah, I didn't start training more units here. Let's build five units up of our basic infantry. But now instead of... I mean, can we actually train all these units up? Are we using... We just need some more anti-tank weapons. That's okay. We can get more anti-tank guns in uh, due time. Japanese troops, you've already read that event. At least I don't need to reread events that we've already read before. But you know, things are definitely breaking out. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to save after every single event. And, um... And just hope for the best. So save you, let's go for, let's block the pro split. Maybe that is going to, basically we're just going to try to do the opposite of what we just did before. And hope that it works out. Okay, restoration, democracy in Australasia. Mass desertion. Also, we didn't assign any of these guys to leaders yet. They can do that right now. What's the plan? Well, our plan is to join the Entente. Because I've never seen Belgium join the Entente. That's going to be interesting. We might get killed as soon as the second build free begins. But if that happens, you know, it's, it is what it is. We're at negative fourteen percent stability right now. Creation of banking committee. Let's block the proposal. I'm assuming just anything that causes stability loss is what we want. Good luck. Thank you. I don't need luck. I am. I'm. I'm an expert at this game. Fine. So I'm wondering when more things will kind of start to break out. You're going to be done in 20 days. You'll be done in... Well, you'll be, of course, done in 70 days once we actually start it. We should actually, again, we need to draw our offensive line, which I guess will just basically be like that. Push away towards this river and towards Riem. I mean, Paris is only like four tiles away from our border. Like, it's not actually that far. And Stefan the Tenth is... You're this one right here? Okay. 
Jalapeno's knows in need, displaced families. I think you're like the the liberal president. I really should just block this freaking uh that one phrase, I just gotta block it at some point. I don't know why they keep showing up my freaking chat, the bots. So 1,100 guns. We got a lot of artillery, artillery. We're missing a few anti-tank. What we should actually be doing is we should import our aluminum, not aluminum, our tungsten back. And just aim, yeah, let me click the button. Import tungsten from Portugal, thank you. And then we'll build convoys and follow you up with our two bonuses for industry. <laughs> When's my OnlyFans coming out? That's a good question. What are passwords for Belgium? I know that there is... You stick with Germany. There's either you stay with Flanders Wallonia, and then that has kind of autocratic and democratic routes. Then there's independent Belgium, which is can go syndicalist, which then branches out, I think, into, you know, radical, so, uh, syndicalist and totalist. Then you have independent Belgium that still stays with the Reichspact, which I think then also goes either democratic or kind of authoritarian. And then I think joining Entente and then, you know, democratic or authoritarian as well. Okay, then we got to save the game. I know this, so I was reading the Reddit thing, and it said that this is an important event, so you might need to keep an eye on that. So after capture a large sailor cell trying to breach the von British Jake and Miliak, the commander has decided to transport the prisoners to a safer location closer to the main bulk of the army. 276 prisoners were put on a train convoy calling, or called the 20th train convoy, accompanied by convoy of 15 soldiers and their officer. They left for Levin, however, between Borchmirik and Hatch, the train was stopped by three young men who, under fire from German forces, Open the prison train and allowed 168 prisoners to escape before the Germans regained control of the train. So I think what we need to do is we need to keep them separated. So that they don't split into two different countries. I think we gotta keep them separated and then form independent Belgium. Now we'll research better industry. Seems good for us. Okay, now it's Mayday. On the first, okay, so this is actually a different event as well we've had before as well. And again, we're going to save the game. Again, we're, we're saving after every single event. I don't want to redo the whole opening again. Curfew. Let's install a curfew in a few cities. Again, we don't want to go syndicalist either. Like, we don't want to be syndicalist. We want to be independent monarchist Belgium. And then join the Entente. And hopefully Germany doesn't invade us when we do that. That's kind of more of a we're hoping for. I don't know if it's guaranteed or not. And we are, as you can see, negative 406. The syndicalists strike back and a hazard attack on our headquarters. The syndicalists are playing a massive terrorist attack against our infrastructure. Okay, let's safeguard our industry. Let's see. I mean, I would say right now that things are not going well in Flanders Wallonia. And we should add an admiral into our navy. I think some countries might be getting released right now. It's a little hard to tell sometimes when uh, Kaiserreich just kind of pauses. There we go. I'll add you. Congratulations. The Baltic Duchy. The assassination of Tunis. The retaliation for attacks on the leaders. The syndicalist movement has struck back. During a meeting uh, concerning the economic crisis and national treasury, a bomb was detonated wounding many of the attendees and killing George Tunis. The Catholic Party is outraged by his blatant attack on one of their most respected and announced, and has announced that there will be consequences. A unified movement uh, by Catholic and syndicalists may not be possible anymore. Well, that seems bad. So the Catholics are now doing their own thing. Okay, revenge for Tunis. Um, on at 8:38 in the morning on May 18th, opens of unexpected aid from Al Rahinet, the door to his bedchamber, 
There she finds Hanet killed in a sleep and a half open window. The Catholic extremists decide to strike back and assassinate Edward Honet as revenge for the bombing of George Tunis. And with both groups now having attacked each other, there's never been a bleaker future for an independent Belgium. Okay, so I'm going to say that's not good. So, I mean, first of all, we'll still save. We're going to have like a trillion saves at this point, but that's okay. Okay, save you. And then load up our last save. And instead of doing the... Um, we'll, we'll just assassinate their leaders. And instead of doing the curfews... Because maybe, maybe we assassinate their leaders. The Catholics and the City Eclipse will join forces being like, we can't... Yeah. Assassinate uh, key figures. Assassination attempts has failed. Okay, excellent. During the assault by our troops on the Senate headquarters, one of the soldiers who sympathized with the syndicalist cause turned his back on his fellow soldiers and lured them into a trap. Syndicalist forces end up quickly capturing the rest of the unit and are holding them hostage. Okay, then. I mean, that's better, I guess, for us. As a player, not as a country. Yeah, but if we did if we did the crackdown, it caused the Cynicalists to retaliate against our country. And from that, they bombed the Catholic leader. So again, we're gonna save we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna have a trillion fucking saves. But it, it is what it is. So if you're watching this on the YouTube VODs, I apologize. So last time we safeguard the industry, let's protect the army bases instead. And maybe that's going to lead to a different outcome. I'm just hoping that we haven't gotten to the point where... Let me, let me, let me go back to the Reddit thread that I, was, that I had open. Okay, the Baltic Dutch has collapsed. I think this is the second... Okay, so they, they've once again assassinated that one guy. Okay, got revenge for them. And that's the grim future. So maybe we weren't supposed to keep the separate separated. And instead we're supposed to let them... We'll, we'll keep it going. We'll go until, let's say... August, and if we haven't seen any events, we might just reload to whatever whatever save it was that gave us the was the separatist event. That makes sense, right? I think that makes sense. There's too many pathways, and all the pathways seem to lead to. Not what I want. <laughs> but I mean, it says that there, like, it says a... I mean, Belgian Revolution is going to go away on 37. Okay, Stash of Flemish Resistance. Okay, you know what? We'll do another save here. Okay, one, one more... <laughs> Look how many Belgian saves we have. While we're trying to counter the balloon separate uh, syndicalists and have to withdraw some of our forces out of Flanders, the Flanders have decided to work more on the ground and have been recruiting members into their movement. Priests have tried to convince their Parthians to take up arms and liberate the nation, whilst rebels in the cities have defused illegal newspapers and propaganda to enlist as many as possible. The recruited rebels, guided by the experienced veterans from both the army and veterans on the field Krieg, also are small coordinated raids against German transports and have been able to acquire uh, quite the armory. It's not yet clear what they're up to. Uh, it'd be wise to reinforce provinces back in the Flanders. Flanders lost. Okay, it'd be not great. Fall back into Antwerp, maybe? Um, then let's go for investing in you.
So I think maybe by keeping them separated, they weren't able to kind of organize one strong resistance movement. And as such... Because here's, here's my thing. I, I believe that if we get to the point where we can do this decision, then it's already too late. If it's already out November and we can take this decision, it's too late for us to do anything. Okay, we got Group G. While our forces were engaged in Wallonia, a devastating terrorist attack has launched on the electrical train network by the infamous Group G. They are a resistance movement that composed entirely of students from the ULB, Free University of Belgium, encouraged by the protests at universities in Gwent and Louvain. A group of engineering students from the ULB prepared a nationwide attack on the railroad system. While this is the first time an attack occurred in both Flanders and Wallonia by the same group, we had to stay wary of further cooperation between the two regions. Like, we'll, we will get this done. If it takes us two hours to finally see a uh, unified Belgium, then so be it. Or to reach us at the desert. Please, I'm trying, I'm trying to read. Yeah, we've already read that event before. Reports have reached us that uh, deserting forces are gathering in the villages around the Pope Ridge. Uh, they seem to rally as close as possible to the French border, making large scale troop movements by us difficult. Charlie Sayer, leader of the move, this movement has started to expand the group very fast, exceeding our expectations. They are, however, in contrast to other groups in the secret army, which changed the command and armed to the teeth. Seems like bad. We are making absolutely not. Why are we not making anything? Black Monday, Belgian Revolution, Flanders lost stability. Yeah, we just don't make anything in the country right now. Which, I mean, seems bad. Yes, let's try to rebuild Belgium. Okay, once again, we're going to do another save game. After the victories of the Flemish resistance over the German forces, the Walloons now have the opportunity to decide whether or not to work together with the Flemish for a unified Belgium or to seek affiliation with the Commune of France. The Senecalists are inclined toward joining the Commune and help spreading the Socialist Revolution. On the other hand, the Royalists would prefer to work together with the Flemish uh, to unify the country and reinstate the king. Absolutely reinstate that king, baby. Let's go. As the proposal of the German government failed, the Flemish now have received a deal from the Walloon movement. They asked the Flemish to work together with them to ensure independence for all of Belgium and reinstate the king. So, when they say that the movement has never been weaker, what they actually mean is that it's going very, very well. I think those are kind of a little contradictory, but okay. Yeah, we're still not producing any actual stuff. In fact, what we might actually need to worry about is putting our troops on the German border for right now. Just in case Germany has any silly ideas, deploy whatever units we can. We'll go up to two on you. Hey, Germany. I just want to be friends. So you have a level one fort, level one fort. Do you have one level one fort and no other forts? Let's join together in, in perfect unity. I mean, you're more support for social conservatism and for syndicalism, which I think seems pretty good for us. Again, we're going to do another save. After the Flemish and the Walloons have made a pact to unify Belgium, they launch an assault on the German administration offices in Mons and secure the governor and his family. They're now being held hostage, and the rebels are demanding to withdraw the German forces from Hanoi. We are have surrounded the building and are ready to move in if necessary. Uh, we have surrounded- okay. The chance of extracting the governor Cecily are slim, but we could re-secure the building and reinforce it against further attacks and to tighten our grip on the province. Now, we'll have to- we have to give in. There, there's no way for us to, uh, to do anything. I think Hanoi is this province? No, it's this one down here. Okay. Well, we have to give in. Gives more support for the conservatives and for the syndicalists. Right now it is... 56 to 26. Definitely in our, uh... I like how radical socialists don't even have a party. It's just radical socialist. Okay, rebels push into Antwerp. With the renewed force and help of Wallonia, the Flemish resistance has successfully begun pushing their way into Antwerp. Fighting in the streets immediately ensued, and in three days were, uh, were appeared with no clear winner. The shitty situation changed when the tank depot fell to Flemish forces, and the Germans retreated to the east side of the city. 
Simultaneously, a push was orchestrated towards the Boon and De Dramond, ensuring the liberation of most of Antwerp province. Straw basing invasion plan. Just in case. And we'll keep, um... Not on the entire border, just to here. German forces push back into Brussels. After our defeat at Mons and in return for the governor, we have fallen back into Brussels where we have dug ourselves in. Any Walloon resistance will have to deal with our fortified positions and prepare troops. The Walloons are everywhere. The Walloons hold back. The Walloons have set a perimeter around Brussels but appear not to be planning a immediate attack. Uh, they are trying to secure Flanders first before moving against our troops position in the city. And there's a lot of German units here. I have a very I do, I doubt we're gonna be able to get the Ardennes uh back from the Germans for for uh when they come independent. I think the only way we can maybe get this back is by joining the Rice Packs, which of course we don't want to do. Okay, get better steel mills. And I'm ready. I'm I'm ready for an independent Belgium. Yeah, there's been a coup d'etat in Algiers, is it still... Yeah, Mordok is still in charge. Concentrated Industry 1 done. Why is it okay? Concentrated Industry 2, because we do have the research bonus for that. Even though, as you can see, we're not actually making... Oh, we're actually making stuff again. That's nice. Making 7 a year. Flemish forces approach the capital. With their victories in Antwerp and their retreat and forces out of the Limburg, we are only left with Brussels and Wallonia. As the movement keeps winning, they gather more support and have now heavily outnumbered us. The only forces we have left are the only forces we have left are the division located in Brussels and two in Wallonia. We will have to make an important decision if we will decide the fate of the country. Will we retreat into Germany, thus abandoning Belgium? Of course, we will abandon. German forces abandon on September 13th, 1936, at 2:37 a.m. p.m. Even though it's two in the morning, actually. In the Royal Palace, the former King Albert signed a formal ceasefire treaty, resulting in the immediate abdication and withdrawal of all German forces from its former from its former territory and a truce between the Red Reborn Nation of Belgium and the German Empire. Hundreds of thousands of men, women, and children have come out into the streets waving the Belgian flag, chanting the Barracon and celebrating the nation's regained independence. Truly a great day for Belgium. And there we go. Belgian Parliament. Does that give us a new... Well, nothing new there. Of course, we are now independent. We don't get these complete automatically like we did last time. Yeah, Germany, you get the hell out of my country. The Belgian flag. After a victory over the German occupiers, the official government has decided to reinstate the Belgian flag to bolster morale and show the world that Belgium is free once more. Oh, we also complete this automatically. The Belgian De Declaration of Independence. Follow you up with uh, some nice elections. And we do need a new... We don't have a Field Marshal actually right now, which is not great. Yeah, but we don't want to be a Republic. So we, we don't want to... I mean, we want to restore the monarchy. Which was LP, the Liberal Party? Reinforce Belgium. Rightful place in the world. But yeah, we want to. Yeah, we want the restoration of the monarchy. 41 days. Yeah, Germany just left. They're like, okay, well, you win. Of course I win. You, you can't beat a Belgian. There you go. Independent Belgium. Again, it did take a little bit longer just because. You know, the first time around, we didn't do the right decisions. But we're good now. We're good now. Okay. The Treaty of Orléans. Deep in the Ardennes in the city of Orléans, German and Belgian representatives have gathered to discuss the future relations between the two countries. Both were proposals have been put on the table by both sides until finally agreement was reached. Belgium would stay in the Reich's Pact and help the German Empire in its wars in exchange for full recognition of its, in of its sovereignty. While the German delegation can be persuaded to recognize their independence, all requests for the return of Belgian Luxembourg have thus far been swept under the table. 
We want nothing to do with the Germans. Get the Germans out of here. What actually, what options do we have right now? Economic policy, legation council. Germany, by the way, don't invade us. Do I have an air force? No, I do not have a single plane. 